Meteorologist Chris Boone. If you're a fan of the colder weather, hopefully you got out and enjoyed it this weekend because today we started to see those temperatures rebounding back to above average. We got up to 70 to 67 rather today, about six degrees above our average. We're going to continue to increase that. But over the rain, we did get some rain here in San Angelo, just a measly little three hundredths of an inch. So again, on pace for one of the drier Decembers on record. And as we kind of look at the month so far, again, above average temperatures for the most part. We saw a slight cool down this weekend, only got up to 45 hours. For Sunday, and we're quickly warm things up back into the 60s. We're going to continue that trend going up into the 70s and 80s as we progress through the week. Again, that cool temperatures are going to start to push off towards the east. We'll be looking at those warmer temperatures coming in from the southwest, and that's going to include us here in the Concho Valley. Rain has moved off as well. Again, looking at our satellite and radar off towards Mississippi and parts of Arkansas. Again, still seeing that rotation as that upper level low starts to push off towards the northeast. And that allows for high pressure and clear skies to move in over the Lone Star State. This is what we saw today. Again, mostly clear skies for much of the area. That allowed us to warm up into the mid 60s during the afternoon hours. We've got past sunset, and temperatures already starting to fall like a rock across the area. Temperatures into the lower 40s and upper 30s. 40 right now in downtown San Angelo with the light southerly wind at 3 miles per hour. Again, two points in those 30s as well. 45 in Brady, 44 in Menard. Couple 30s on the map. 39 in Junction, 39 in Sonora, and 37 in El Dorado. So again, already starting to see those temperatures come down. We've got another 10 degrees to go. We'll get close to that freezing mark as we get through the overnight hours. And again, across the state, we're seeing that for the entire Lone Star State. A little bit warmer out towards the Gulf Coast, and increased moisture is going to kind of help them with that. Otherwise, we've been seeing those dry conditions left behind as that cold front pushed through. Again, dew points in the lower teens or 30s for much of the state. So, again, we're going to stay dry. We're going to stay pretty chilly for us tonight as well. Overnight lows falling into the lower 30s, 31. We'll still hang on to those clear skies, those southwesterly winds. That's really going to start to be a factor for heating us up as we go into tomorrow. Temperatures returning to the lower 70s, 71 our afternoon high. Still plenty of sunshine across the area. Clear skies, that's expected for the entire Concho Valley. One thing to remind you, again, going into tomorrow, it's actually the, astronom the beginning of astronomical winter. That means it is the winter solstice. That is the shortest day of the year. We'll be at the solstice at exactly 9.59 in the morning on December 21st. And that means it's our shortest day. Only 10 hours and 5 minutes of daylight. After that, the days start to get a little bit longer. And that trend continues for the next 6 months until we get to those long days of summer. The upper level pattern is going to stay relatively quiet. That upper level trough pushes off towards the east. Then we see a more zonal flow. Again, see these flat lines across the United States. Doesn't mean a lot of changes as far as cool temperatures being pulled down or warm temperatures being pulled up. Again, you see this color code that kind of fits with it. It lines up basically pretty nicely, and that means there's not a lot of changes expected over the next several days and continuing into the week ahead. And everything's staying pretty quiet off the Pacific Northwest as well. And that means we're going to stay relatively quiet for our seven day forecast. 70s and 80s for much of the day. We'll start to see those temperatures really picking up as we get into Friday. Breezy conditions for you on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, though. Temperatures in the lower 80s. That's going to be possibly breaking records. The record for Christmas Day is actually a high of 79. We're projected to break that by two degrees. Other days will be close to the records. Not all of them going to be broken, but again, we'll be looking at some warmer temperatures as we finish up the week.